Hello, my friends. It's great to see you. It is a nice sunshiny day today, which makes me very happy. All right. We are going to practice reading a sentence. We're going to do something a little different today that we haven't done before. First, Baby Echo is going to point to each word as I say it. If you know the word, say it with me. Are you ready? Do you like to run or lie in the sun? Okay. Did you notice how Baby Echo was hopping from one word to the next? Now, is the way I read that kind of like a robot? One word at a time. Do you like to run or lie in the sun? Is that, is that nice to listen to? Is that enjoyable to listen to? Is that interesting to listen to? Eh, not really. How do, when an adult reads to you, how do they read? They read more smoothly, right? So this time, Baby Echo is going to glide through the sentence instead of hopping from one word to the next, okay? So try to notice how he's gliding rather than hopping. What does it mean to glide? To glide means to move smoothly through the air, slowly, softly, smoothly through the air, just like a bird who's gliding down from a tree down to the ground, okay? So this time Baby Echo is going to glide. And notice the difference in how I read the sentence with Baby Echo gliding rather than hopping. Do you like to run or lie in the sun? All right, did you notice anything about how I read the sentence differently with Baby Echo gliding? I sort of connected the words together and it all went more smoothly. Was that more interesting to listen to? When an adult reads to you, do they read more like that? Or do they read more like a robot one word at a time? They probably read like I just read with Baby Echo gliding. You want to sort of read like you would just talk to someone, okay? Now, of course, when you read, whether you're reading a story or a book or a sentence, you might have to go one word at a time because you might not always remember the words. But as you learn more and more words and as they become stuck in your head, you'll be able to glide through sentences and read them fluently, okay? So, Notice how I glide again. I'm gonna do it one more time with Baby Echo. Ready? Do you like to run or lie in the sun? All right. Now we're going to draw what Baby Echo's path through the sentence was, okay? So we're, gonna, we're going to trace where Baby Echo glided, all right? Do you like to run or lie in the sun. Is that basically the path that Baby Echo took? Let's see. Do you like to run or lie in the sun? I think that's pretty much the path that Baby Echo took, right? All right. Now, I want you to try to say it with me if you can remember the words, okay? so. We're gonna glide through the sentence together. Do you like to run or lie in the sun? Good job. All right, so now you know how to glide through a sentence if you know the words in the sentence, okay? If we know the words, that's how we like to read sentences because it makes it more interesting and it makes it easier to understand. But if you hop through each word, then it becomes harder to understand. You might not remember the words. You might not remember the last word that you said because you're hopping and it's very blah, 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 right? 
very choppy. You want to make it smooth. You want to glide through the sentence like baby echo. Okay? All right, my friends. Thank you for listening. What I want you to do now, or at some point, is to write the sentence on your whiteboard. Okay? And then I want you to use your finger to glide through the sentence as you read it. Okay? So... You can first look at each word and try to remember what it is and then try to glide through the sentence, okay? And you can have an adult try to help you glide through the sentence. Do you like to run or lie in the sun? All right? I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon.